Hello and welcome to Get Recurve Bow YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over the Samic Sage Recurve Bow, arguably the most popular recurve bow available today. Uh, according to like Amazon and things like that, it just has the most purchases, most reviews, and um, I'm pretty confident that it's the most common and most purchased recurve bow out there. Now, what does it come with? We're going to do a quick review of this bow to see is it worth the price? If you're a beginner, what can you use it for? And things like that. Now, the first thing is what it comes with. It, this recurve bow in the package comes with this string right here. You also get a, you have an arrow rest right here, which we'll talk about later. You also get two limbs, obviously, and a riser. So we'll go over the pros, cons of this bow, and then we'll talk about whether or not it's worth the price. Now, the first thing I really like about this bow is First of all, it comes in both left and right hand. For the few left-handed archers we have out there, this bow comes in both orientations, which is great. Now, make sure if you're a beginner, um, you get a reasonable draw weight. This bow does have a wide variety of draw weight. I think it's between 30 and 60 um, pounds. Uh, you can check the availability. Sometimes, you know, your draw weight might not be available. I actually have a link in the description below so you can check out this um, bow on Amazon and make sure that they carry your draw weight. Always underestimate your draw weight. Always underestimate your draw weight, especially if you're new. You know, if you have more experience, you probably, you know, have a good idea, but people always estimate what their draw weight is. My first bow, I got at 45 pounds thinking, oh, I'm, I'm in better shape. I could probably pull heavier. But when you're learning the basics, you want something light, something so you can learn the basics. Another great pro about this bow is the limbs are interchangeable. So what does that mean? That means if you want to change draw weights, you can purchase a different set of draw weights and just change the limbs. Take the string off, untwist these screws right here, and then you can just change the limbs and have a completely different draw weight on the bow, which is great if you want to if you want different draw weights for hunting than target practice, or if multiple people want to use the bow, you can have different draw weights available for different people. Which is also a great thing about this bow is it's not just for target practice or it's not just for hunting. You can use this bow for target practice. You can use it for hunting. I've even seen some people use it in local competitions. So it also has great accuracy. So it's a great half decent bow overall. You know, and I also love the look. You know, I'm more into modern bows than traditional bows. But as far as traditional bows go, this is a pretty good look. Fiberglass limbs, beautiful wooden riser. I'm a fan. It also has all the ports necessary. If you want to add a sight, if you want to add a stabilizer, it has all the port holes right here so you can add that. It's also pretty accurate. I've taken about a few hundred shots with this and it's a pretty accurate bow. So now let's move on to some of the cons. The first and biggest con is the arrow rest. It's a cheap plastic arrow rest. I don't know if you can see right here, It's a, I've only taken maybe 200 shots with this bow and it's already getting pretty messed up. So in general, you're gonna wanna upgrade this or maybe get some every couple weeks. They're like $3. So, you know, if you have to get one every 200 shots, it's, it's not gonna break the bank. Now, the second issue I have with this bow is the string. I'm not sure if you guys can see on this camera here, but right there, this is where I shoot from and it's slowly starting to come apart the string so i think after you know hundreds and hundreds of shots you're gonna need to change this string which is all right because you know if you take into account how much you're gonna spend on strings and getting a new arrow rest you might need to get one every like three four months if you're a really active shooter strings maybe like 10 15 bucks switch them out every couple weeks you know you'll be fine but other than that I think this bow is pretty darn good. Now it does not come with instructions. Also also another con, it does not come with instructions. If it's your first bow, you're gonna have to watch quite a few YouTube videos to you know to string the bow. It doesn't come with a stringer either. Another con, it does not come with a stringer. So unless you know how to string a bow without a stringer, which it's kind of tricky if it's your first time doing it, I'd recommend spend 10 bucks, get a stringer, string the bow, just so you don't have to worry about, you know hurting yourself because stringing a bow there's a lot of tension when you string a bow so you want to use a bow stringer just to ma um, make sure that it's safe and um, no one gets hurt anything like that it's, overall this bow is absolutely worth the price um, just make sure they have it in your in your they have your draw weight available um, 
I have a link in the description below for so you can check it out on Amazon. Make sure they have your draw it. You can check out more pictures. You can check out people's reviews. This bow has great reviews and for good reason. So far, I've had this bow for about four or five months, taken about 200 shots with it. And honestly, I'm very happy with the quality of this bow. Thank you for watching. If, if you like this video, like it. If you're, if you're interested in seeing some other videos, maybe some hunting videos down the line or some review of other bows, be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.